from the spectacular Trump Castle in world-famous Atlantic City. It's time to play television's non-stop game of knowledge, Trump Card. And now, here's the star of Trump Card, Jimmy Sapolo. Joining us for Trump Card, everyone. We're here at the fabulous Trump Castle in Atlantic City, where competition is king. And we have three contestants who are ready to challenge each other today for over $15,000 in cash and a chance to win $100,000 in the Trump Card Championship. So let's play Trump Card. Before we meet today's players, please say hello to our Trump Card hostess, Miss Debbie Massey, the lady in red. Hi, Debbie. How are you? All right, now let's meet today's contestant, contestant number one from Farmingdale, Long Island, Jerry Hersland, I guess is the correct uh, pronunciation, am I right? That's correct, Jimmy. A retail merchandiser who loves sports and collects baseball cards. Correct. What sport is your favorite? Might it be baseball? No, it's bowling. Bowling. You, you don't collect bowling cards, I imagine. I do. You do? I and do. tattoos as well. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Bowling cards. Good luck in the show. And Judy Owens from Brick, New Jersey, a school principal, has visited five of the seven continents. Which two haven't you visited? I haven't gotten to Antarctica yet or Australia. Well, I'm glad you haven't gotten to Antarctica yet, Judy. The best of luck to you in this program. And Joel Miller from Norwalk, uh, Connecticut, who works in insurance and is uh, just full of useless information, according to this card. What's the most useless bit of information you have, Joel? Um, to get why the Army started using the 45 automatic. Why? Uh, to uh, stop the uh, Amok tribesmen from charging. To there goes that question. <laughs> we had to end the show. It's gone, Joel. Sorry. Gosh. Here's how we play our game. Each of the contestants have their own trump card, and the object of the game is to cover all 15 numbers on their card by giving me some correct answers. First player to do so can win over $5,000, plus the chance to win the $10,000 trump card bonus. And today, our studio audience is playing along with us because they have their own trump cards with 15 random numbers, 1 through 45. So today, we will have winners on stage and in the audience as well. All right, players, now you can win round one and 750 bucks in cash by being the first to cover all four corners on your card. And you'll do so by answering questions in the following categories. And they are TV anchors, middle age crazy, all about the middle ages, front please, that's our hotel and motel category, Left or right, all the answers are either left or right. Each category contains four questions, and if you give me a correct answer, we'll cover a corner on your card and give you the right to choose the next category. If you give me a wrong answer, you'll be frozen out of the next question. And Joel, you won the draw backstage, so please choose for us. Why don't we try left or right, Jimmy? Traditionally, which faucet controls the cold water, left or right? Jerry? Left. No, sorry, I had to think about it right, the correct answer, and you thought this was an easy category. It isn't. Jerry, you're blocked out of the next one. We move on to TV anchors. In 1981, after 19 years anchoring the CBS News, Walter Cronkite stepped down. Who replaced him, Joel? Dan Rather. Yes, Dan Rather certainly did. We cover number 31 on your card. Jerry, you're back in. I will go back to left or right, Jimmy. On which hand did Michael Jackson most frequently wear his famous sequined glove? Left or right, Joel? The right. The right hand is correct, yes. Let's say what left or right. Which is the proper side to mount a horse? Joel? The left. Left. One more answer and you will uh, win round number one. I'll give you the 750. Stay with the left and right. Last question in the category. In which hand does the Statue of Liberty carry her torch? Left or right? Joel, for the win. The right. The right is correct. Congratulations. You, you know you're left and you're right. An ambidextrous uh, contestant, Joel. That's all four corners. 750 bucks in cash. And you know, all the money you win here at Trump Party, we let you keep it. All right, everybody, we're going to come back in just a moment. We will double the prize money to $1,500 in round number two. Thanks, Debbie. 
Joe Miller has just won 750 bucks in cash because he knows his left, left from his right. That was the category that really allowed him to zip along. Now I move to round number two, and players, one of you will win $1,500 in cash by being the first to cover the five numbers across the center line. And right now, Debbie is giving each of our players a special trump card. And beginning with this round, the players can use this card to block the progress of one of their opponents. Now, players, you can only use this card after you give me a correct answer. You've got one card. We've got two rounds to go, so play it wisely. And players, if you win the, uh, the game and go to the bonus round with this card intact, then you'll get a special extra, extra advantage. Now, here are the categories for round number two, and they are movie quotes, Wild West, new geography places with new in their names, and it's English to me, British terms and expressions. Each category contains five questions. And uh, let's see, who, of course, Joe, you won the first round. Please choose for us. Let's try the Wild West. Name the dentist who took part in the gunfight at the OK Corral. Judy. Doc Holliday. And you are on the board for the first time. Congratulations, uh, Judy. Jimmy, how about it's English to me? If you're an Englishman carrying your bumper shoot, what are you carrying, Judy? Umbrella. You're carrying an umbrella, yeah. Uh, let's stay with it's English to me. In England, if you open the boot of your car, what have you opened? Joel. The trunk. The trunk of your car, yes. Let's go back to Wild West. What famous frontier marshal cashed in his chips while holding a poker hand of aces and eights? Joel. Uh, Hickok. Yeah, Wild Bill Hickok, the correct answer. A tie in round two between Judy and Joel now. Let's stay with the Wild West. Named for the Pennsylvania Valley where it was first built, it was a popular pioneer wagon. Name it. It's Judy. Conestoga. Conestoga is correct, yes. Let's try new geography. First time in the category. Before he became president, Woodrow Wilson was governor of what state? Joel. New York. New Jersey, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. And we move on to It's English to Me, the category. This question just to Jerry and to Judy. In England, it's called drafts. What's the game called in the States? Judy? Dark. New sorry, checkers, the correct answer. Joel, you're back in. Judy, you're blocked out. And we move on to movie quotes. First time in this category. In what movie did anchorman Howard Beale proclaim, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore? Jerry. Network. And you're on the board for the first time in the game. Movie quotes, please, Jimmy. Judy, you're back in. Your wife, my father, crisscross, muses Robert Walker to Farley Granger in this 1951 Hitchcock thriller. Name it. <whistles> Strangers on a train, the answer to the question. Wild West, the next category for us. What Western magistrate was known as the only law west of the Pecos? Judy. Judge Roy Bean. That's who it was. One more answer, Judy, and I'll give you the $1,500. How about it's English to me? In London, if you're pushing a pram, what would you be pushing, Joel? A uh, baby carriage. That's correct. Yes, we're covering number 38 on your card. Uh, Wild West, Jimmy. Last question in the category. In 1852, two men founded a stagecoach line that provided express service west of the Missouri River. Name this company that grew into a major, Jerry. Wells Fargo. Corporation. Wells Fargo is correct. New geography, please, Jimmy. Over 700 languages are spoken by the 4 million people who live on this island located across Torres Strait from Australia. Name it. Joel. New Guinea. New Guinea is correct. We've got to tie it out between Joel and Judy again. It's English to me. Last question in this category. What are you riding in England if you're riding in a lift? Judy for the win. Elevator. Elevator is correct. Congratulations, Judy. <laughs> And that is a win for us. All right, the big winners uh, so far are Joel, 750. So you're putting your left or your right hand. Your right hand, we'll take that. And Judy, it's English to me, was your big category. $1,500. You must have a lot of students out there watching. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, they're going to love it. Right. And they're going to they're gonna be real happy with you if you win more money. Already at $1,500, Jerry. Don't worry about it. We're going to double the prize money to $3,000 when we return to Trump Card in round number three in just a moment. Welcome back. It's round three of Trump Card, and here's Jerry Zavallo. Players, this is our knockout round. No categories. Only one winner. The first person to cover their card will get $3,000 and a shot at our trump card bonus. That is worth 
$10,000, as you all know. Let's recap our scores right now. Jerry, you need 13 correct answers. We'll give you that money. Judy, you are 10 away. Joe, you've got a slight lead. Seven correct answers. We'll get you 3000 bucks. A reminder, you still have your trump cards. Use them at your leisure after you give me a correct answer to block the progress of one of your opponents. Good luck to everybody. Hands on buzzers and may the best player win. Here we go. In 1990, the Binney and Smith Company retired eight crayon colors, but they added eight, including jungle green. Name their, this popular brand of crayon. Jerry. Crayola. Crayola is correct, yes. What political advisory group consists of a chairman and the four heads of the military? Joel. The Joint Chief of Staff. That's correct, yes. What was the name of the 14th century Spaniard who had a reputation for seducing women? Jerry. Don Juan. Don Juan is right. I'd like to use my trump card, please, on Joel. All right, Joel, you know what it means. That's oh, yeah. part of the problems I have in the lead. You need to give us a correct answer in order to remove it. Here we go. It's carbon dioxide in a solid state and can reach temperatures of minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Judy. Dry ice. Name the substance. Dry ice is correct. In what children's games are metal objects picked up while a bounced ball is in the air? Joel. Jax. Jax is correct. We removed the trump card from your podium. In 1925, he was court-martialed. In 1946, he received the Congressional Medal of Honor. Name this controversial Army, Joel. Billy Mitchell. General, Army, uh, General, correct. Billy Mitchell is the right answer right now. You need five correct answers for the win, Joel. This famous mountain peak rises 14,700 feet in the Pennine Alps between Switzerland and Italy. Name this snow-covered, Jerry. Blanc. No, sorry, snow-covered peak, Matterhorn is the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. Found only in North, Central, and South America, this bird is famous for its ability to imitate the sounds of other birds. Tell me its appropriate name. Judy. Mockingbird. Mockingbird is right. Yeah, you need eight correct answers, and you'll win the money. Jerry, you're back in. This political term could be a piece of luggage, but was also used to describe Northerners who went south after the Civil War to exploit Reconstruction. Joel. Attaché, uh, carpetbagger. Joel, we have to accept your first answer. You said attaché. Carpetbaggers was indeed the correct answer. We have to accept your first. However, you're blocked out of the next question. They're over a century old, and a $2 ticket will let you ride one over Knob Hill. Name this moving national historic, Judy. Street cars. No, sorry. Landmark San Francisco cable cars is what we actually needed. We've got to be exact in it. Judy, you're blocked out of the next question. Joel, you're in. Though it officially uses only one time zone, this Asian nation actually covers four time zones. Name it, Jerry. China. China is correct, yes. We cover number three on your card, Judy. You're back in. When you buy a can of these, you're actually getting herring or pilchards. What does the label, Judy? Sardines. Say you're getting. Sardines is correct. Yeah, right now, you need seven correct answers for the can. I want to use my trump card to block Joel. All right, Joel. That means you need another correct answer in order to remove it. Here we go. For Christmas and Easter, Mexican children attempt to break this decorated container filled with candy and toys. Name it, Joel. Piñata. Piñata is correct. We remove the trump card from your podium. And I'd like to use mine on Judy, please. All right, Judy, turn around his fair play. <laughs> you need a correct answer to get rid of it as well. According to legend, to toughen up his horse, Widowmaker, he fed it barbed wire and nitroglycerin. Name this cowboy folk hero, Judy. Paul Bunyan. Oh, sorry, Pecos Bill was the nasty guy we were talking about. You blocked out of the next question. Name the best-selling Christmas song that was introduced in the movie Holiday Inn. Jerry. White Christmas. White Christmas is right. You are now nine answers away. You're back into it, Judy. Long before he broke Babe Ruth's record, this heavy hitter was given the nickname Hammer and... Jerry. Hank Aaron. Hank. Name him Hank Aaron, the correct answer, yes. Since 1955, Roy Wilkins and Benjamin Hooks have been the executive directors of this organization. Name it, Jerry. Hope. No, sorry, the NAACP, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. He collaborated with Edna Ferber to write the Pulitzer Prize winning musical Of the I Sing. Name this American playwright. George S. Kaufman, the correct answer. Jerry, you're back into it. What are panatellas and cheroots? Jerry. Cigars. Cigars is right. Yeah, come back by you. You now need seven correct answers. Let's recap. Judy, after you get rid of your trump card, you will need seven. And Joel, you're five away. Good game by everybody. What actress marketed the perfume called Crystal? Joel. Diane. Uh... Sorry, Linda Evans is the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. The remains of ancient plants and animals that have been preserved intact are known as what? Jerry. Fossils. Fossils is right. You need six correct answers for the money. Joel, you're back in. This New York district is associated with musicians, composers, and publishers of popular music. Name this Musical Alley, Joel. Tin Pan. Yes, Tin Pan Alley, the correct answer. Four answers away for you. 
Baseball's Brewers and basketball's Bucks represent one Midwestern city. Joel. Milwaukee. Milwaukee's right three answers away from $3,000. Collectively, what were travelers Gasper, Melchior, and Balthazar known as? Judy. Three wise men. That is right. We remove the trump card from your podium, and you are now seven answers away from the money. The thistle is the national flower of what country in Great Britain? Joel. Uh, Ireland. I'm sorry, Scotland, the correct answer. You're blocked out again. A break for Jerry and Judy. Yellowstone National Park covers three states. Name one of them. Jerry. Idaho. Yes, Montana and Wyoming, the other correct answers. You're five away. Joel, you're back in. What AM bugle call comes from the French meaning to awaken? Jerry. Reveille. Yeah, four answers away for you. In Dickens, Oliver Twist, who trained a band of boys to be thieves and pickpockets? Joel. Fagan. Fagan is right. You need two. Set to host the 1940 Olympics, it had to wait 12 years due to World War II. Name this Finnish city. Joel. Um... Helsinki, the correct answer. You're blocked out again. What's the favorite food of cartoon character J. Wellington Wimpy? Judy. Hamburger. Hamburgers is right. You're six away. Joel, you're back. Both J.D. Crockett and James Bowie died during the siege of this Texas fort. Can you remember it, Jerry? The Alamo. Yes, three answers for you. What is the Eskimo word for house? Judy. Igloo. Igloo's right. Five answers. What common weather gauge is usually calibrated in millibars? Joel. Barometer. Yes, one answer. I'll give you the money. The Great Barrier Reef extends along the coast of what country? Judy. Australia. Yes, four away. What age immediately followed the Stone Age and the Bronze Age? Jerry. Renaissance. No, sorry. Iron Age, the correct answer. You're blocked out. What tasty sea creature are we enjoying when we eat blue points? Joel for the win. Oysters. Oysters is correct. Congratulations. A great run by all of our players, Joel. We add to your total two. We've got 1500 bucks, Jerry. You've got our thanks and nice consolation prize. Joel, in a moment, I'll show you how you can win an additional $10,000. Joel, here's your opportunity to add $10,000 to your total, and should you do well today, the possibility exists that you could be invited back to try for $100,000 in our Trump Card Championship later in the year. But, first things first, you know how it works. We put 25 numbers up on this big board. You give me a correct answer, we'll cover a number on the board, and the object of the game is to cover five numbers in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally by giving me correct answers. And if you can do that in 45 seconds or less, I'll give you the $10,000. Simple enough. Sounds simple, at least. Now, here's Debbie. We'll bring her out and ask her to carry her special deck of cards, numbered 1 through 25. If you'll please choose one, we'll light that up on the board for you. 20 is the number. Thanks very much, Debbie. All right, now you've got a free number. You've got 45 seconds on the clock. You call out a number, I'll ask a question. If you pass or if you answer incorrectly, we'll block that number. You must start a new line. The 20, let's talk strategy. You can go straight across, obviously, or up and down. You don't have the diagonal right now, but that may occur as the game progresses. Keep that in mind. Remember, if you don't call it a number, I can't ask a question that'll cost you time. Uh, we will start the clock as soon as I begin the first question. You all set? I'm all set. All right, then, Joel, give me a number. 25. What instrument can a kettle, snare, or bass? Drum. Correct. 15. What Australian mammal is the largest marsupial? A uh, platypus. Sorry, wrong. Uh, 19. In A Christmas Carol, who was the partner of Ebenezer Scrooge? Pass. 24. What African nation has its capital at Kampala? Uganda. Correct. 23. To a pilot, what do the initials UFO stand for? Unidentified flying object. Correct. 22. What Danish island is the largest in the world? Greenland. Correct. 21. The Hasty Pudding Club is the drama club at what university? Yale. Hard or wrong? Give me another. Uh, 17. The sum of the angles of a triangle equals how many degrees? 180. Correct. 12. What five-letter word is a funeral hymn? A dirge. Correct. Seven. In the south, a can of goobers. Oh. Oh. Let's try to rush through it for you, Joel. That course. That course. Well, we'll come back in a moment. We'll sum it all up. Stay with us. Uh, Today's contestants will receive Travel Savers Hotel Directory, discounts from the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies. 1-800-726-SAVE. All right, Joel, for $3,750, here are the questions you missed. Actually, this first one I didn't get out, it was time ran out on us. In the South, a can of goobers contains what food? Peanuts. 
A what Australian mammal is the largest marsupial? Kangaroo is the correct answer. In A Christmas Carol, the partner of Ebenezer Scrooge was Jacob Marley, and the one that cost you $10,000. The Hasty Pudding Club is the drama club at one univer oh, what university you said you said Yale to us? Harvard, the correct answer. I'm from answer. Connecticut. What can I do, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> well, that one you'll never forget because it did cost you ten grand, but still you've got 3750 Did you enjoy yourself? It was a ball. Great. Just an absolute pleasure. Right, good luck with the money. Enjoy it. Thank you. All right. For Debbie Massey, I'm Jimmy Sefflow. We'll see you next time right here from Slump Castle in Atlantic City. So long, everybody. One of our departing contestants will receive the following. JawDev brings new dimension to timekeeping with the Sectora Watch. Today's technology with yesterday's styling. 18 karat white gold overlay from JawDev. is a production of Createl Limited and Fiedler Berlin Productions in association with Telepictures Productions and is distributed.